All right, on this video, I'm going to uh, correct my previous video. On my previous video, I made a mistake. Uh, what happened is I was reading the message that was sent to me by my friend John Crow, uh, and I was just following what the message said, which was right over here, from Evil Boris uh, HDR. And uh, what basically I was doing, I was, uh, I misunderstood because uh, he, I didn't look at the photo that he sent out first. I was just doing it based on this, because this was the message that I got. You know, he recommended to max out the brightness scale, which I did, and then set the red and blue scale scale all the way towards the darker, no red. So I thought when he said uh, to to go ahead and set the blue scale all the way toward the darker i thought he meant for me to move my scale all the way to the blue but then i find out from john crow that's not the case so the bottom line is this when you go to the red and blue container he wants you only to use three to four clicks three to four clicks meaning from the beginning of the blue container just move it to the four clicks four clicks is fine and leave it there right over here which we're gonna do next so this is the only thing you have to correct uh, your max brightness container you can leave it all the way high it's just this this is your you know black levels your digital black levels it's what this is this red and blue containers this is your black digital levels so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you exactly what he meant the other video i made a mistake because i didn't look at the photo i was just reading the message and i was going based on that so i made a mistake on that it's on me ignore that video uh this is the correct video this is from uh evil boris uh hdr there's his uh name right there evil boris hdr there it is and also i mentioned uh john crow this is John Crow. Make sure you follow him. He's a very good friend of mine. He's been following me ever since I started the channel. He's been with me for, for a long time. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to make him a moderator. So John Crow, you're going to be a moderator. I'm going to throw you a wrench. Next time you stop by uh, my live stream, you're going to have a wrench. And of course, this is Evil Boris HDR. You guys can follow him too. So, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how to implement these settings on Samsung Q8FN. This should work for any of your TV because this is the uh, in-game HDR slider. Remember, we're trying to uh, get the best possible black digital levels for Resident Evil 2. Okay, so here we are. This is my uh, Samsung Q8FN. As you can see, I have moved it on the red and blue container. From the blue, I have moved it all the way to one, two, three, four. So I need to move it down a little bit. So right here, one, two, three, four. Right here, one, there's two, there's three, there's four. He says four, so three to four, so one, two, three, four. I left it at four. Now, the reason he recommends this, it's because the tone mapping of the black digital levels on Resident Evil 2, it's really not that great. And that's the only problem that the HDR has. And I think this will fix the issue. So remember, on the red and blue container, okay, make sure to move it all the way to the four. Four clicks, three to four clicks. I left it at fourth click right here. From the blue container move it to the four there it is right there now the next step is your maximum brightness container this is your uh paper white your white bright white digital levels okay let me explain this in the basic terms what this is is your white digital levels so you want your white digital levels all the way to the maximum to the brighter And then your black digital levels, which are put in this blue and red container, 
you want them four clicks from the blue. Now let's see how it looks. Let's go check out the game. Let's see how it looks. This is very nice, actually. It's very smooth. Now we get to see that... Uh, here's the reason why the black digital levels are so important in Resident Evil 2. Because Resident Evil 2, it's a very dark horror survival game. This game, it's not taking place outside during the day. Uh, it's mainly in the dark areas with a bunch of lights and the flashlights and whatnot. So you really got to have... Uh, pretty darn good black digital levels here uh, of course the white digital levels are important as well but the uh this is the one aspect of the hdr that's really important here is the black digital levels now we already have the white digital levels uh cranked up all the way to the maximum and now we got the black digital levels cranked up from the blue dark blue three to four clicks up and uh, I agree. Well, this is a great job, uh, Evil Boris uh, HDR. So remember, this is not me. This is Evil Boris HDR. Uh, he deserves the credit, not me. So I don't want you guys to say, oh, Mr. 4K. No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with me. This is not me. This is Evil Boris. He's going to be credited to the video. I'm just sharing to what he implemented. And of course, I also want to give a shout out to John Crow friend of mine because John Crow if he didn't tell me there was no way I would have find out about this so he kind of let me know through the Twitter uh, page you guys need to follow me on Twitter too I'm on Twitter you know I'm there you guys can ask me questions there you can follow me there that's why I have a Twitter page <laughs> you know so uh, this is great it looks great it looks awesome and uh, what can I say man uh, great job uh, Evil Boris HDR, he did a great job here. Um, again, you know, you can see this through camera, but I'm telling you what I'm seeing with my own two eyes, and you will see this as well. When you implement these settings, you will see, oh, I see what he's talking about. All right. Now, there is another thing I have to mention here. Uh, yes, you have these HDR sliders put in place and everything, but it's also very important that you're... TV picture settings are uh, calibrated correctly as well. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to your game mode settings. I assume you're using the game mode HDR. I assume. Um, go to your expert settings. Listen, uh, backlit and contrast for, H for HDR will always be like this. The backlit has to be maximum. And the contrast has to be maximum. If you want to take the advantage of HDR, the brightness has to be at the default level right there. It's like a letter E. Really, if you look from afar, it looks like a letter E. Sharpness, this is just my preference. Uh, I like to keep my sharpness at 10. It's in a balanced level. Uh, normally I would say leave it at zero, but you know, keeping a sharpness at 10, it's not going to hurt you that much. Uh, you know, you're not like over pixelating your digital sharpness, you know, cause, uh, if you have sharpness all the way to the maximum, then the pixels will look way too sharp. So I left it at middle here, balanced middle. And that's what I'm doing. Same thing with color, balanced middle, um, Local dimming, always at high. Uh, contrast enhancer, of course, you want to take advantage of that for the HDR. Um, color tone, I choose to go with a standard. People ask me, why standard? Because, you know, it's a game. You know, you're not watching a movie. If I was watching a movie, I go to warm. I go to warm one, warm two. But this is the game, so we'll keep it at the standard. And that's where it needs to be, at the standard. Uh, white balance, don't mess with the white balance. Again, you know, this is something even professional calibrators with top of the line equipment will have a field day just getting it correctly. Getting that, that gain, the offset gain correctly, it's really pain in the ass. Um, gamma, you don't have to mess around with the gamma. You already got a good gamma here. It's HDR. And uh, you guys know how I feel about the color space. I like to keep it in native. That's my preference. 
Now, once you have your picture settings all accustomed and everything, now, do I use the motion flow? Okay, I guess you guys want to know about the motion flow. Yes, I do. I use the motion flow, but it's only set customly, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I'm using the, the custom motion flow. I'm going to show you to you in a minute. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's right. I don't use the motion flow. Motion plus uh, flow. First of all, you don't need it on the games because you already have a game mode on. Uh, turning the motion plus setting, yes, you can use them through a game mode. Uh, you can implement them, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend. But if you need to, if you need to, uh, just go down to the general, go down to the external device manager, and select your uh, game motion plus settings. I have them currently at 3 and 3, uh, and I think that's the best way to keep it. It's at 3 and 3, you know. But if you feel that you want to go a little bit more soap opera, then I guess uh, leave it at 6 and 4. Leave the blur reduction at uh, 6 and judder reduction at 4. So 6 and 4. So that's pretty much what I'm using here. And uh, again, uh, it looks nice. I like these settings. Uh, they look very nice. So uh, Evil Boris HDR, a great job, man. So, And thank you, John Crow, for letting me know. Okay, so that's it. Remember, I'm not taking the credit for this video. Evil Boris HDR is, and of course, my friend John Crow for letting me know, which I have already mentioned in the beginning of the video. Okay, so there you have it. I'm still working on the PC versus Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro comparison. That video will be coming on later on tonight because uh, it's it's a big video, so it's going to take a while for me to process it, to edit it, and all that. It takes a lot of time, but it will be done by tonight. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.